Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service. Here's an update for the upcoming Pacific storm that possibly will bring us rain and it could be heavy at times as well. Let's take a look at what is expected. Here's a summary. We continue to see Santa Ana winds even though they are weak and that'll continue through the weekend. The strongest winds will be in the Cajon Pass and also the San Diego County Mountains. It's very dry, uh, low humidity through Sunday and poor overnight recovery. We do expect increasing moisture on Monday and a Tuesday from west to east with an onshore flow. The nighttime will continue to be cold, especially in the mountains and deserts where temperatures have been dipping into the upper teens and 20s. The warmest day is expected Sunday, then a gradual cool down, especially starting Tuesday. Now, cooler even so, and a good chance of rain. Rain looks likely. Uh, best chances are Thursday through Friday, but some of the rain could come in as early as Wednesday from a slow-moving Pacific storm. Here's a map of those offshore winds that I was talking about uh, from the Cajon Pass, even going into the 91 corridor of the Santa Ana Mountains, uh, also I-10 and some of your stronger gusts uh, over San Diego County as the Santa Ana wind is starting to shift away from the region. Okay, well, we're really here to talk about is the incoming Pacific storm. Temperatures will take a nosedive all areas Wednesday and Thursday. Here's a snapshot of expected temperatures for Thursday, not getting out of the 60s for most urban areas and not getting out of the 40s in some of the higher elevations. Now, rain is expected to develop midweek. Here's a snapshot of Wednesday evening and night with the majority of the rain, the best chance of rain coming in from the west, as it usually does, and moving up into Santa Barbara and LA first, and then spreading west to east into our region, which includes San Bernardino, Riverside, Orange, and San Diego County area. Now, the estimated rainfall totals are here. This will likely change. That doesn't mean this is outdated information, but most areas should get one to two inches of rain. Coast and urban areas around an inch, some places a little bit more. A lot less in the deserts, especially the lower deserts, where it should be under a half inch. Our mountain areas could see anywhere from one to three inches of rain. Now, when does this occur? Again, most of this is going to occur Wednesday night through Friday morning. There will be some light precipitation that develops as early as Wednesday morning, and some of the showers could linger right into Friday afternoon. What's causing this? It's a Pacific storm. When it approaches us, however, a lot of energy as shown here goes down the back side of the storm. That causes it to start to slow down and close off what we call in meteorology. In other words, it's digging, but it's slowing. This sometimes gives it a chance to tap more tropical moisture, however. Now, once the rain moves onto the coast, those areas will see continuous rain because it does stall out on Thursday, as shown here. Then finally, on Friday, it looks like it gets kicked as the energy rounds the base of it and it moves inland. So showers will continue into Friday morning. I like to show this as well as the storm does slow, close off as it approaches the coast. Now, this will be key here. This is the atmospheric river moisture, the tropical moisture coming up from the south. Now, the storm system has its own atmospheric river moisture, but does tap into some deeper tropical moisture as shown here at the bottom of the screen, especially Wednesday night. Um, how much of that interacts with the storm is the uncertainty uh, because the storm is slowing and is evolving as it approaches the west coast. So this will be important as we go into Thursday, how much of that deeper tropical moisture interacts. Either way, the storm does have plenty of Pacific moisture within itself. So uh, because of this storm, the outlook remains wet uh, on the last six to seven days of the forecast. So Southern California and the Southwest desert area 
is wet and below average for temperatures in the latest outlook. Now you can monitor the weather too. In addition to the weather forecast and the graphics that I showed you, you can monitor at the link shown here. You can monitor the rainfall, the wind, the temperatures, and of course, get the latest updates on the amount of rain and wind that is expected. There could be a little bit of snow as well, especially in the tail end of the storm Thursday night and Friday, right around 7,000 feet and above in our bigger mountains, such as the San Bernardino Mountains. All right, check in again. Thank you, everyone.